Good morning everybody, it is Wednesday and I'm about to head off to get some stuff done because my husband needs a car after 12 but we've got the guy fixing our roof. See, he's up there, giving a good old seal and old Bamboomer is off to clean the toilets so I don't have to. Yeah, that's it for today. I'll, I'll, I'll come back later with something ex more exciting. So it's a few hours later since I spoke to you and the poor guy is still up on the roof. Old man is trying to fix it. He's cleaning out his um, fan. It's so hot in there. Yeah, don't, we don't get air conditioning to the bus till like 29th of sometime in December. So it's going to be a while and it's very muggy. Now, I'm going to show you the photos of all the mud that we've had to deal with. It's really, now the sun's come out, it's hot and muggy. Um, I feel sorry for that guy up there. He's got a jumper on, my goodness. But anyway, so I'm off to take these young fellas to a BMX track. We don't know where it is. Don't know how far away. Oh no, it's over the other side of town. Don't know where it is. But I've been on my other channel doing all my what solds and my other channel, the reselling boomer. I've been doing all the stuff I've bought and stuff I've sold to yeah. But anyway, it's been a quite a week. Um my grandson got his license, which was great, but then he wins because he couldn't drive this car, which is not insured for him. It's a fifty thousand dollar car that my close to that my daughter bought for us. And it's not insured for him to drive because he's only 17, so he had a whinge about that. But then my granddaughter, eldest granddaughter, decided she wanted to go down and see a friend at Deniliquin. And I had to go pick her up, which is an hour and a half away, about an hour and a half, and then bring her back here and get her to the train at nine. Um, and when we got to the she got on the train, there was some big fight at the back of the train, and some guy kicked, got kicked off because he was off his tree. <laughs> God manic like i'd say he's got some mental health issues and drug issues but yeah he got kicked off so she eventually got to um they took her from nine about nine o'clock on the other night till yesterday around five before she got to where she had to get to that was two trains and a bus and maybe two buses but she's never done this on her own before so it's a big step she's 21 she you know a lot of us are relying on other people but she's done it so she's very happy and she's now with a friend so that's great so yeah, I am just, um, yeah, that's about all guys, all the catch up I can give you, that I can think of, other than the weather and yeah, the stupid things that I do and lose and all that sort of stuff, as you probably hear on the other channel. <laughs> you know, I'm hopeless. Anyway, just feel sorry for that poor guy up there who is healing up all our holes and we've got leaks, leaks down my side of the window now too, leaks behind the cupboards, um, leak in the, in the toilet area, I think probably a leak in the bathroom, I think a leak in the kitchen, leak down the next kids bed so it's just lots of leaks so he's got this special stuff and he's going through the whole bus and just sealing it all so that'll be wonderful anyway I'm gonna go I'm gonna go because these boys are gonna just about ready to go he's just doing up his bike there and I'm heading out now and yeah, there's one of them just there right there see way back to my camera not to there <laughs> so yeah we're, we're heading off the other one you can see his curls at the back of the um the bus so all right, we're about to go back to the car. I'm going, I'm going. Bye. And here we are, folks, at the BMX track they've never been to before. Bought both bikes. Bought a scooter too, but they went back in the car pretty quickly. They're having a ball. It's still hot and muggy, but these two are very happy, and I'd say this is going to be a regular location for a while.